Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the information and theories that are on the table regarding the next agent in the game. Before we begin though, I would like to say that some of the things I'm going to talk about are very speculative, so please don't take this video as facts. Let's start by going over everything we know so far, which unfortunately isn't all that much. We know that the next agent is going to be either 08 or upwards of 16, and we have a couple of small lore tidbits regarding 08 in the Valorant lore slash art discord. From these tidbits, we know that something has happened to them, but that they are not dead. And for the last piece of confirmed information, we have the recently published State of the Agents article, which said that the next agent is going to be a controller. As the trend goes, one of the cards in the battle pass hints towards the next agent. In this case, we consider two. Corporate Takeover and Bridge Between Worlds. The Corporate Takeover card looks more like a map teaser than an agent teaser, given the importance given to the buildings, but I have no idea about what the black circle atop the skyscraper is though. As for the Bridge Between Worlds card, it is the one that is generally assumed to be the teaser for the next agent. We do not see much at first glance, but let's take a deeper look. The most remarkable elements in the card are the central symbol encasing something that looks like an orb, but given that the circles surrounding the symbol look like planetary orbits, it could be a star. There are two identical, distorted versions of the central symbol on the lower half of the card, as well as savannah trees around the middle. There's quite a bit more to this card on these elements, however. First we have the Serbian theory. It was first talked about by Sheik on the Valorant lore slash art discord and mentioned in parallel by Redditor Kroep. It takes root on the card's internal name, r 4 Kia the nickname of Riot employee Stefan Jevremovic. He is a Serbian visual artist that has worked on the Singularity and Glitch Foot Lines, among others. This is where Kroep's Reddit post ends, but the theory goes on. The card reminded Sheik of a desert, so by putting that together with Serbia, he found the Delebletos Hands, one of the largest deserts in Europe. Interestingly enough, the trees that can be found in this desert are very similar to those in the card. And now for the last part of the Bridge Within Worlds card, Symbolism. Ahsoka from the Lord Discord suggested comparing the card with some symbols in Kenta clothing after we got the second Night Market reveal. Now I'm no expert on this, but let me explain quickly. Kenta clothing is a Ghanaian hand-woven textile made from silk and cotton, very popular among the Akan people. These clothes contain patterns with defined meanings, some of which we can find in this card. First, we have the zigzags, which mean that life is not a straight path. And then we have another pattern, Patene. The meaning of Fatene is a bit weird, saying, you go straight away to Agmean, where Agmean means savior of the nation. Go figure. Finally, colors are also important in Kenta clothing. There are two predominant colors in the card, purple and gold. Purple represents that which is feminine, while gold symbolizes richness, prosperity, fertility, or royalty. And we're done with the card. Now let's move on to the night market. The first night market took place in Split, Japan, referred to as JPN, as seen under the night market letters. Taking this as reference, we know that the new one takes place in Ghana, referred to as JHA, although there is no specific map this time. This could mean that the second night market is stationed at a new map, but, no, oh, could it be? Wait, let me look here on the top right. Oh yeah, more symbols. Just like with the Bridge Within Worlds card, there are symbols in the second night market. We investigated them by looking into Ghanaian culture. First, Kek Magic took a look at the Akan and three alphabets, then came Adinkra symbols, and finally, Kenta clothing as suggested by Ahsoka. There's a total of six symbols, but I've only been able to identify three and possibly a fourth one. Let's begin with the ones I think we know. The third symbol is possibly Tram Nwoma from Kenta clothing, and it refers to droughts. The fourth symbol is Atta from Kenta clothing again and it means, I have taken it. Kinda ominous. The fifth one is Adinkrahene, and this one comes from the Adinkra symbols. It has already been discussed by other creators, but we'll go over it anyway. It is the king of this type of symbols, being an inspiration for some others. It represents authority, leadership, and charisma, and is associated with kings. It makes me think of the gold color on the Bridge Between Worlds card, the possible symbol I mentioned earlier is the second one, which could be part of a zigzag. 
In any case, there are six second lines on the background of the night market, just like in the card, also meaning that life is not a straight path. Now that we've gone through the two big sources, let's take a look at two smaller ones. The episode 2 loading screen shows a glowing figure that has not been identified yet. Although it is similar to Phoenix or Omen, not all the traits coincide, leaving the possibility of this being a tease for the new agent. Finally, and coming back to the State of the Agents article, we get a bit of information about what the next agent abilities would look like. It's said that there would be a cosmic shift in play patterns, and that the agent was dedicated to galaxy brain players. Those are all the sources I could gather, but we still haven't arrived at a clear conclusion, so let's do that. Regarding the Serian theory, after the release of the second night market, it has become very unlikely, but it is very interesting and could still stand today. Jumping back into the symbolism, the symbols most likely is an agent due to the strong connection between the ones in the card and the ones in the night market, and the main possible takeaways are that the next agent is a woman, or at least feminine, is either part of the royalty, a leader, or is wealthy, and finally, it relates in some way to a savior. Finally, by linking the card and the article together, we can tell that the new agent will have a pretty heavy focus on space. Personally, I believe the next agent is going to be 08, the queen of a tribe that has recently gone through very rough times and has met the savior of her nation. This savior told her something was taken away from her people, which made her leave the Valorant protocol to search for whatever they lost. As for the abilities, knowing that she is a controller, I like to think that she will have a small gravity singularity which pulls enemies and allies into it, a wormhole that allows her to travel back in time to where she was a few seconds ago, and a large black hole that sucks enemies and allies into it, killing them when they are too close. And that's all I've got for now. Head down to the description to find links for most of the stuff I talked about in the video and leave a comment with your theories. Or join the Lord Discord if you want to discuss them more in depth. Invite also the description. Thank you for watching and I hope you all found this video entertaining. Happy hunting and have a nice day!